so that you're not stopped so much. Leah Coleman is learning a new way to have fun. She's used to skiing, but this day at Pine Knob Ski Resort finds Coleman trying her hand or foot at snowboarding. It's nothing more beautiful than uh, the slopes, the sun, the sky. It's just it's absolutely beautiful. Coleman and her friends are among the people most would not expect to see at a ski resort. But more blacks are hitting the trails thanks to the Jim Dandy Ski Club. The club formed in Detroit in 1958. It became the nation's first ski organization for blacks after three college students found themselves in an uphill battle. So as they were joining the Wayne State Ski Club back at that time, um, they noticed that they were a little less than comfortable at the social activities after the uh, uh, ski events. And at ski resorts. The Jim Dandies held their events at Michigan resorts more receptive to blacks back then. It kind of snowballed from there. The Jim Dandy is one of 60 clubs that makes up the National Brotherhood of Skiers. The organization can be found in 43 cities with one goal, to promote skiing within the black community. I enjoy the rush, I enjoy the speed, I enjoy certainly being outdoors. The Jim Dandies are part of the more than 3,000 members of the National Brotherhood of Skiers. That number is growing as more blacks discover the fun of hitting the slopes, which is just dandy with the Jim Dandies. At Pine Knob Ski Resort, Dave Laval, my TV20 News at 10.